We spent some time reporting on this story. We should have spent a lot more time because this could be the most consequential thing to happen to this country, to this world, maybe ever. In June, the United States government is set to release a public report on everything it knows about UFOs. Lou Elizondo is the former head of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program. He's been on the show a number of times. He just spoke to the New York Post about what that report will show. According to Elizondo, we will find an intelligence failure on the part of the U.S. intel community on the level of 9-11. The last time we had an intelligence failure of this country, a major one, uh, which was 9-11, it took us almost three years to come up with the 9-11 Commission report. Okay, it takes a long time. Um, let's just go down the rabbit hole here for a second. Let's just assume this is some sort of adversarial or foreign technology that several decades now has managed to leapfrog us and evade all 18 members of the intelligence community, despite our best human intelligence, signals intelligence, imagery intelligence, yada, 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 right? Um, that would be an intelligence failure uh, that would eclipse just about anything else this country has ever faced, um, especially if this has occurred for decades, that there is a foreign adversary that can put a nuclear warhead within moments over Washington, D.C. Okay, that's, that's a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. And too few have considered it from that perspective. Nick Pope is a former Ministry of Defense official from the U.K. and perfectly positioned to answer the obvious question, which is, why didn't we see this coming? He joins us now. Nick, thanks so much for coming on. Um, I thought Lou made a very solid point, and I'm embarrassed I hadn't thought of it before, which is this is, among other things, whatever these objects are, a potentially very grave threat to nation states. So where was the intelligence community in warning about this and learning more about it? Where were they? Well, that has to be answered, absolutely. I mean, we are under siege. It's like there's a war of nerves going on. And uh, if, if this was drones belonging to a foreign adversary, there would be an absolute outcry. And yet, the situation we're in, that we don't know what these things are, and they might even be extraterrestrial, that's worse. So I agree with Luis Elizondo on this. This is a potential catastrophic failure of intelligence. And if it happened because skeptical bureaucrats were just saying to themselves, it can't be, therefore it isn't, then there must be a reckoning. So you say, and, uh, and that is such a, a great point and, and nicely put, but you described it as a siege. Give our viewers who don't follow this topic closely a sense of the magnitude of data coming in about these encounters. Yeah, I, I mean, this is absolutely extraordinary. And every day it seems like new information drops, things that the public and the media weren't told. So, for example, former director of national intelligence, John Ratcliffe, just threw into the conversation the other day the fact that the satellite imagery of all this and some of the speeds being reported seem to blow the theory about foreign drones out of the water. We must be told what's going on here. And we should think of this upcoming report to Congress as an intelligence assessment of the phenomenon itself and one that's long overdue. There are a lot of these. This is not like, you know, some drunk guy in a rural road in northern New Hampshire saw something weird. I mean, this is the U.S. military regularly, very often recording these objects. Yes, absolutely. It's pilots, it's radar operators, it's satellite data, it's measurement and signature intelligence. There's such a lot of information now, so much that the U.S. Navy has instructions for its pilots on what to do if they encounter these things. Now, I think as we go into May, in the run-up to this report going to Congress, there's going to be a lot of uh, things going on behind the scenes, a lot of politicking, jockeying for position, factions uh, trying to, to kind of have their say on this. I anticipate more leaks of information, photos, videos, documents. Uh, there's a lot more to come here. Nick Pope has been on this for so long. I appreciate your steadfast commitment to answering obvious questions. You know, what is this? Thank you. Good to see you.